Hello and welcome to how to decorate your bedroom with Feng Shui for more harmony and clarity. And this is for you if you are not sleeping well enough or if you want more harmony in your bedroom. Then let me show you in this video how to use simple Feng Shui guidelines to create more harmony and clarity in your bedroom and in your life. Okay, so we will be using some basic Feng Shui principles like yin and yang and the five elements. And that will show you already what you can do. So have you heard about those principles? They are essential, not just for Feng Shui, but also for Baza, Chinese horoscope and traditional Chinese medicine. So these principles can influence your life on a very, very subtle level. And if you use them right, well, you can create your life with so much more ease and be in the flow and just let everything unfold right in front of you. Um, I've got some examples for you with me here today and maybe also a cheat sheet afterwards if you want to stay until the end. Hi, my name is Sandra and I'm from the Academy of Making Sense and I've been teaching Feng Shui, meditation and Baza for almost, no, more than two decades now. First in Germany, and now here in Australia and New Zealand. Well, so what is important in a bedroom from a Feng Shui perspective? We're only looking at the Feng Shui perspective today. So we, I've talked about like yin and yang, the five elements, which are water, fire, earth, metal, and oh, I forgot wood. Oh my God, water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. And then in another video that you can see here probably, um, we've been talking about the productive cycle, how they support each other, the elements, the controlling cycle, how you can use them to control each other and the weakening cycle. So have a look at that video if you want to know more about that. But for today, we just want to look at the bedroom, just the bedroom. So what is the quality of a bedroom? You see, there is no such thing as the Feng Shui. Um, one size fits all. No, because each room has a different quality. And the quality of the bedroom is that it's a room to rest, to replenish, to, to rejuvenate, to just chill. So this is a lower vibrational energy. So this is yin. So a bedroom is a traditionally yin, yin room with low vibration, low energy. So what do we not want to have then in a bedroom? Hmm? Yeah, yang energy. So what would be yang energy? Just to show you the difference. The yang energy, for instance, is your telephone, your smartphone, your television, everything that, uh, that has electronic smog. So and those EMFs have a lot to answer for. And I've been there. I've eliminated one uh, electronic device after another from my bedroom. And I can tell you it made a huge, huge difference. Other elements in the room are plants, for instance. So if you look at the five element cycle that I showed you in the other video, um, plants, wood, is, is supporting fire, which is yang. So the plants, if there are too many plants in the bedroom, they will support and produce fire, which is yang. This is one of the many reasons why we don't want too many plants in the bedroom. And because it's all about balance, we also don't want too much yin. So metal, for instance, produces water, which is yin. Um, so too much metal in the bedroom um, will produce too much yin. And again, we're not balanced. We're too tired, but not sleeping well enough and all of these things. So this is these are two elements that we don't want to have too much in your bedroom. But of course, as I always say, and if you know me, you've heard that before, if you sleep well, and have metal in your room or have lots of plants in your room, don't change it because there is then something in that that you personally need on your personal level. But if you don't sleep well, then maybe it's worth looking into, do you have too many plants, too much wood? Do you have too much metal in your bedroom? Where's the balance? Where does the balance live for you in the bedroom? You probably want to ask me also about colors. Colors um, is a lot to do with uh, personal taste, to be honest, but um, it's it's not that much of an influence that people think. But of course, the color red 
is highest gain. So we don't want too much of that. For instance, in a kid's bedroom, if your child doesn't sleep well and there's like um, Ferrari stuff, the red Ferrari um, bedding on there and so all of these things, and maybe it's worth trying a different, a more subtle color, like a beige or a, or, or a brown or something like that. Just Just play with it some children react really heavily to those colors and some just don't at all so you need to test it again the feng shui is different in in every personal case um i've got some pictures for you um today so have a look so this for instance is a single bed so you can see that this bed is standing right towards the wall slash in this case window so only one person can actually step into the bed easily so if this person decides that they want to have a relationship or a partner they probably need to take the bed a little bit away from the wall so that two people can individually step in and out of the bed easily without crawling or anything like that and don't laugh at me <laughs> It is, I, I told one client to do that and he was like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. But he did it and it worked. It worked. Not that it didn't surprise me because it's a psychological effect that it has on you. If it's only you being able to easily get into the bed, then it's harder for another one to just step into that. Cool. Okay. Next one. This one here. Um, you can see that there is a door. I mean, the door leads to the bathroom, whole other story, we're coming to that, but there's a door that is pointing towards the bed. So what we don't want is the the door itself, it has shachi. So it's cutting into the bed and that is not good energy. So we want to avoid that. So minimum in that case, have the door closed as much as possible. Really have it closed. And also have a door window line. So that's also causing a little bit of a, could be a draft or anything like that but seriously have that door shut and if you look at the next one talking about bathroom um i seriously i mean maybe it's my taste whatever i just tell you but there's a bathroom next to the bedroom and it's only divided from the bedroom by a curtain you really want to hear that smell that um the dampness and everything it I, I i personally don't get it so i would have want a door there really to have it shut off and so that this can't get into the bedroom so um how about this one so this room for instance i like that one much better you can see that the door is further away from the bed it's not cutting into the bed and it's all balanced in a way in this room, isn't it? So if you look at the, you can talk about the two windows to the left and the right because windows are considered yang. Um, so, but some rooms don't give you that much of a choice and there are shutters there. So that's just what it is. So I think you can work around that in my eyes. Um, we're having another one where I think that's quite balanced and it's simplicity. Simplicity is key. And if you don't like the dark color, okay, yeah, that's that's fine. You know, that's personal taste, as I said before. Color is personal taste, but um, it is simple. This bedroom is simple. This bedroom is just lit up and just all it needs, all it needs. That's all that there is. And contrary to that, look at this one. This is seriously um, one of the mistakes, and I don't understand that. Why do you need to have that bed towards that window again windows are yang features and these are huge windows so not just is it yang feature it's also it has no security in the back so there's there's glass in the back and you can't really control what's outside or coming in or anything like that and apart from the feng shui problem in here we're having another problem and that's called condensation because the inside and the outside temperature is is different even if we're talking about double and triple glazing um, you always have a difference in temperature inside outside which then causes condensation which then causes a draft and if you're having problem with the sinuses for instance um, you should look into that so why not take that bed to the other side I, I, I don't understand it maybe it's just set up with the light and everything but if you want to sleep well and, and, and feel secure in your bed you would use the other one wouldn't you and <laughs> Here's another one that I found and seriously, it's like a fishbowl. So that one to me looks like it's a, maybe a batch or maybe a weekend thing where you'd sleep just one or two nights and 
maybe that's okay for that. And it looks like it's somewhere out rural and maybe there is really dark at night. But you, if there would be light, like in a town, in a city, then you, you, you can't really create darkness. And the thing is, it's proven now that even if you have a, one of those um, sleep um, glasses things on, um, you feel if light is on. Your skin can also take that on. So really, really be aware of that, that too much glass in the bedroom um, and not being able to shut that down can really disturb your sleep. So if you're not sleeping well, it's definitely worth looking into that. And last but not least, this would be my choice, my choice of a bedroom. It's balanced. It has subtle color. It has all it needs. I would maybe have just one plant maybe on that side, but this would be my choice, my choice, simplicity, clarity because you want clarity you want harmony you want balanced so this needs also to, to reflect in your bedroom and the less disturbances there are the better your sleep will be so it, it's it's really very interesting to look at the wording it's what what is it that you want then you should reflect that in the room where you're in and talking about the room you're in if you want to look deeper into how to feng shui your other rooms living room and other places in the home you really need to realize that there is no such thing as one cure for all each room in your home has a different function has a different purpose so the feng shui also needs to reflect that and it will need different issues so your home office for instance will need more yang but sometimes if you need to research for instance needs to be in so there are different purposes your living room i mentioned that in the other video can have two islands one yang with the music television and where you want or whatever and one corner where you maybe you want to read, maybe meditate. So you have different qualities even in one room. And even if you if you have in your bedroom, if you have to have parts of your office in the bedroom, you can feng shui around that. It's that building of islands. But if you want to sleep where you want to sleep, this is where you want to have a yin energy, the low energy. So where, have a look at the room you're sitting in right now. This room where you're right now, in there. Do you have a feeling it's more yin or more yang? Is it more energizing? Is it more calming? And is it that what you want? And maybe you can also um, realize what's the predominant element in the room. Is it water? Is it wood? Is it fire? What is it? Is it earthy? Is it metal? What is the predominant element in that room you're in right now? And if you need some help, I've got a cheat sheet that is, uh, the link is somewhere down there in the notes. And maybe that helps you. I hope so. Or even better, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you won't miss a video then. Um, so let me know in the comments. I really want to hear from you. What is your greatest challenge in your home at the moment? And in your life, of course, because then I can make a video about it. That's a cool idea. So I really would love to hear from you and your challenges. And I think somewhere here or there is a video that might help you with this topic too. I hope that helped you for your bedroom and um, let me know what you, what, what you get out of it and what you want to know more about. I'm happy to help and I'm here. You find me on this channel. So have a fabulous day and have a really good night's sleep in your bedroom. Bye.